absolutely right. He deserves to take a hit. And I've been one of those guys that said that Coach Belichick deserves a lot more of the credit than Tom Brady. But I was foolish in my assessment. Mm. It's becoming more and more fair. Mm. That Tom Brady was largely the reason why the Patriots won. Oh. Because you see, he go to another team and they win. Coach Belichick has struggled to win without Can you believe Brady. that? Hold on. And see what happens is that no matter how great. Woo, can you believe that? Shannon Sharp has been rat peeled. Shannon Sharp said he was foolish of thinking Bill Belichick was the reason the Patriots winning. It's obviously Tom Brady. Ain't that something? So you spent all, so what you got into a skip Bailey for was something foolish. Okay. The dynamic is, there's gonna be a point in time that I want more credit. And it can't be, it can't be 50-50. 50-50 is not good enough when you're dealing with two guys that have the massive egos that these two young men have. Because remember, guys, the more successful you are, the greater your ego is. So I need to show I'm the reason why we're having more to success. No, I'm the reason. So Coach Belichick says, I'm going to go win one without you. Out the door you go. You see, we can't have that argument because we saw Joe win a Super Bowl without Bill Walsh. So we can't say that they were winning because of Walsh because we saw Joe win one without him. Uh -huh. Coach Belichick wanted to leave no doubt in anybody's mind that the reason why the Patriots win. And he was foolish for thinking that. that falls up under the umbrella. The way we do press conferences, the way we report injuries, and the way we do things are because of me. But what he failed to realize is that he had that general, that 17-star general in Tom Brady that made everything smooth. And he's finding out the hard way it's not as easy as he ever thought it would be. Only thing I disagree with Shannon about is that you know when you win, your ego grows. I mean, I've been winning for quite a long time, and I don't have to do that. Well, I mean, no, no, I'm saying the, the, the more success you have, and guess what? The greater it is. You know what I mean? Oh, buddy. Uh, I can't get over that comment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Big NBA guy, I know that. I do, right? Off, off the cuff, who are the top three coaches in the NBA? Top few coaches, I would tell you, are Ty Lue. I think I'm exposed to Stop right there. So, the fact that LeBron went to Miami, won a championship, left under Spolstra, went to Cleveland, won a championship, does that minimize Eric Spolstra since he has not won a championship ever since LeBron left? No. So, we have to stop doing that with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. It's no, but it's Tom. But we got to stop doing that. But I didn't say it was because Tom left. But, but, but it's not what the Thomas said. Hold on. What are you but, talking about, boy? That, that was, was a double analogy. In the NBA Finals, since LeBron's left, Tell me what Coach Belichick does. Facts. Facts. Facts, Shannon. I'm on Shannon's side now. But Shannon, it's not just Tom. It's, he doesn't have Brock. He doesn't have Ernie Moss. He doesn't have Edelman. He doesn't have Luke Makins. He doesn't have Dan Coffin, Vince Wilford, Darrell Grievous, McCourty, Richard Seymour, Teddy Bruschi. It's not just Tom. Tom is the greatest player. <laughs> he starts naming up players that don't mean shit without the court. Tom Brady won with all them players and after all them players. It don't matter what player you put around Tom Brady, he won. It don't matter what coach you put around Tom Brady when he was he won. The one constant that's not there in New England is struggling is because Tom Brady's not there. If Tom Brady's in New England, they'd be one of the favorites to win, especially this year with Kansas City struggles. Especially this year with Joe Burrow and he struggled. If Tom Brady was still in the AFC, he'll be neck and neck with uh, Patrick Mahomes with that sorry ad with Devontae Parker. Give Tom Brady Devontae Parker and he'll make things happen. And that offensive line practice got with... Zeke Elliott and, and the, the, the people around him and the defense, even though the defense was a little suspect because they got had injuries. Are you kidding me, Dino Lasky? You brought up players because he had these players at this way. The one constant is not that Tom Brady. He got Matthew Judah, one of the best defensive players in the league. And they struggling. What are you talking about? Dino Lasky, you got to shut up. Ever. But this is, the legacy does not take a hit. In 10 years, whether Bill Belichick goes to the AFC title game or not this year or next year, it's not gonna, we're not going to question who is the greatest coach in the history of the NFL. That's Dio, Bill Belichick. Dio, check this out. All those guys you mentioned, Coach Belichick ran them off. And the yep. one guy that was still remaining was Tom Brady, and they still won. So if we're having a conversation of Bill Belichick, like the roster. Mike check drop. Like I just said, Tom Brady, all them guys come and go. No matter who you brought, he still won. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon don't want to do this morning. But no one really views him as the greatest general manager. No, it's just that because of the, the, the how flagrant the struggles are, and you can directly connect it to his decision making, that's the problem. Right, I think about. what you said about Mac Jones in his second year is absolutely dead on. I will agree 100% with that. I'd like to see Bill go somewhere else, though. 
when, no, I'm just saying, not because of that. Have a fresh start. Go somewhere else like Tom Brady did and win a Super Bowl with another team and another quarterback. Just saying. That style won't work anywhere else. Facts. Mm -hmm. That shit is over with. Y'all like, subscribe, share this video, come on this video.